Hey, I'm just stepping into the library here. Turn on a little bit of light. There's uh, reference books and some Dallas books, Red Pine, some uh, yoga books, some uh, Chinese culture books, books from friends. Aikido books, herbal books, Qigong, more Qigong, meditation books, Tai Chi, whole bunch of Tai Chi books, Neijia Chuan books, a variety of martial arts books, unsorted books, a bunch of books signed by friends, the uh, top six books of all time, some uh, Chinese medicine books, Reminder, love at some day form. And uh, of course, Brazilian herbs. And uh, I thought I'd just do a little standing meditation. So I'm gonna see if I can set this up somewhere. Balanced on the dick. <laughs> and leaning against uh, Bryson's Dictionary of Troublesome Words. And uh, a rhyming dictionary. See if that works. It does have a warning that my connection is weak. Uh, I think I'm on Wi-Fi, but maybe, maybe it'll go out. I don't know. Hey, Saki, you want to come in and join us? Hey, it might have come back on. It still says connection is weak, but I'm changing where it is. Maybe it's that much closer to the... Uh, now I'm leaning against the Sun magazine in a precarious way. It might fall, but what are you going to do? I'm going to try and move a little bit further back. See how that works. Don't have quite enough room, but I'm going to try. Also, uh, I don't see the connection as weak anymore, so maybe that sort of did it. I don't know if this restarted the video or it's just a continuation. On my end, it looks like it's a continuation, but uh, more technical learning. So, it might have been that I was just, uh, you know, eight feet too far out of range, but anyway, here we go. Which is weird, because where I had it set up is about a foot and a half. Two and a quarter feet from the antenna for the Wi-Fi. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> here we are. <sighs> hey Saki, how you doing? Saki's right under the camera right now. Just came in for a visit. How you doing, buddy? You want to say hi to everybody? Here it goes. Yeah, we're just going to do a little meditation. Yeah, in the face of death, too. What do you think about that? Yeah, this is not going to be the kind of meditation that's for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much unnecessary, huh? Yeah, it's not the kind of thing you got to worry about. Go on the desk. There you go. Okay. Let's sit him on the desk. Just over here. Yeah, you could check it all out, sure. Sure you can. So I think three people died in the last thirty hours. They're uh, related. Uh, it's pretty, pretty heavy duty. Um, and I know it's pretty 
easy to uh, just shift into that expected mode of, uh, you know, frustration, disappointment, uh, grieving, sadness, bleakness, you know, the, even just the general tone and tenor of the outlook is sort of uh, sort of death aware. So, everything okay for you there, buddy? Yeah, yeah. well, it's good to see you, sure. Yeah, you can check everything out. But I'm going to choose to do a different practice. And that practice is to uh, laugh. And it doesn't matter that I don't feel like it. It doesn't matter if the laugh begins or even only continues as a fake laugh. Doing the laugh thing doesn't matter. Very likely that it turns into a laugh, especially as you become self-aware. It's one of those instances where the meditation, uh, you know, when you start to think about what you're doing, which is often is just a, a, a wrong turn on your path of meditation, is actually quite helpful. So that uh, in this kind of thing, when you start to become self-aware of the meditation that often makes you laugh which kind of clicks in and works for it so <clears throat> maybe this will help so So the practice of laughter isn't to have this intellectual process of let me find what it is about what I intend to laugh at that's funny and then focus on that. And it's not making fun of something either. It's not putting anything down. It's beholding something in your awareness, in this case death, and having a laugh which really is being alive in the face of death. And it's not that you're laughing like, oh, I've got you beat death, or uh, I'm not dead yet, you didn't get me, or, uh, or even just believing that you're outside of it and uh, <clears throat> death will have to wait. Or It's just laughing while beholding the thing that may not feel all that laughable. So, we're inhaling, we're exhaling, that's all happening. But to take into my awareness, to, to, to stand and face, to, to fill my field with the idea of death, it's very easy to, as we said, shift into depression, frustration, bleakness, uh, pessimism, negativity, which is all valid and human and reasonable. But I can also laugh. I can also behold it and then be how and who I am, which is alive, which is some degree of vibrancy, some degree of aliveness. Like I remain in the field of ticklish, I'm not in this other field. It doesn't mean that's better. It just means I'm feeling and expressing this state of how I am. <laughs> Just settle into breathing. 
So it's important in doing this is that the laughing isn't set against anything. It's not in contravention with something. It's not even um, setting itself up as an alternative. It's just being what it actually is, which is some degree of aliveness, some degree of vibrancy, some degree of unwoundedness, some degree of aliveness that I am in, not just representing, but am. Uh, and then I just do an old uh, <clears throat> sort of each one posture for that. And I'm going to just kind of hold into that Henry Look posture, uh, kind of in his memory for a moment. Just kind of find, feel my way into my structure. We did this tonight in class. Uh, a number of you have I've done this uh, with me over the years. <coughs> Good. So, during that one Saki came and rubbed my leg said hi somewhere are you back here buddy yeah how are you you doing okay yeah there he goes so I think we'll just we'll bow here yeah Saki you have any jokes for everybody you got a joke to help me laugh no A Taoist, a Buddhist, and a Shinto priest all walked into a bar. They each banged their heads. See? Because they walked into a bar. Yeah. You know, they weren't drinking. <laughs> okay. There he goes. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you all. Good night from the library.